Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you are here. Today in this exciting video, I'm going to show you how we can use some FS function to fetch the information using an OR condition. OR condition, I mean, I have to fetch the values for marketing where the department column contains marketing and then the job title whether it has daily wage or the employees on contract so my aim is to fetch some of all these numbers using the summFS function so let's begin summFS the first argument is sum, uh, sum range, then the first uh, criteria range, my first criteria range is the department column and the first criteria is marketing. You can type the text as well in double quotes if you want or otherwise you can uh, simply refer to a cell. For the second criteria range, this is my second criteria range. And now I cannot use one of these or because if I use one of these in this uh, section, it will lock it up. I have to use both of these, both of these uh, so that it checks whether uh, it is contract or DD wager. And if I simply close the function and hit enter, it spills and I do not want it to spill. I want both of these numbers in one uh, cell because I'm using Microsoft Office 365 so it is spelling it up otherwise uh, in the previous version it might have returned only uh, 81,000 or 165,000 uh, 165, what it has done is it has combined the values for uh, daily wager 165,000 and for contract it has shown me the values separately and I do not want it to be like this I want it in a one cell so what I will do is I will simply wrap this function in the sum function so it will basically sum both of these numbers if I just look at the formula result by pressing F9 it is showing me the numbers so now as I have inserted the sum function it will just uh, com uh, add both those values and show me a uh, combined total so let's wrap it up with sum function so now I have the value 246 so all these numbers are coming as 246,000. So this is how you can use the summFS function for an OR condition. You only have to select the criteria. You can use the text as well, but for the text, you will have to use it in curly brackets. For example, I can insert the criteria using the curly brackets and then in the double quotes my both the criteria are maybe even if I have another criteria I can insert it as well then close the curly bracket and then press enter and it will uh, show the same values so this is how you can use the summFS function let me know if you have any questions and I'll be very thankful if you kindly consider subscribing my channel thank you